Hey guys, it's Ryan with Long Crack, and today we are looking at a pro slide that needs a part replaced. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like beforehand. This should be, you know, back up, up like this, out of the way, and it's just dangling here. It can create a dangerous situation when you're backing up on a hill or something like that. So we are thinking that it's this shock that needs to be replaced. So I'm going to run through how you do these common repairs and hopefully it'll save you some time and aggravation. So I am going to go ahead and pull this pro side off to work on it, but I wanted to show you a tip. These things can be very aggravating grabbing these pins. So if you just grab a pair of needle nose or any kind of pliers and just pull that out, it makes it go so much easier, save your fingers. And it's just a matter of snap on it, grab it like that, slide this rod right out. Okay, so I have the pro slide off. Uh, pulled that pin So this goes through here Through the, the bracket on the mower and we just pulled that pin like I said if you use a uh, Pliers or something save your fingers makes it go a lot smoother So we'll just get that out of the way set that over here. So I just want to show you um, pliers are good to have a ratchet with a 13 and 11 and a 10 that's about all you need. Um, a half inch also works where the 13 works. So I couldn't find a 13, of course. And then I have another 10. The 10s are for uh, taking off the wear plate. So if you need to take off your wear plate or replace it, put that on that, uh, hold, the, hold the nut on the back, take all of them off all the way across, and then slap you a new uh, wear plate on the bottom, bolt it back on, pretty straightforward. The only thing, uh, this one right here, is a little difficult to get to but it's not really bad at all so that is that these two do not connect to the wear plate so you don't have to worry about these two when you're just messing with the wear plate okay so if you see the design here see normally this should have tension on it it does not obviously something's wrong uh, these torsion springs are often an issue so just make sure your arms are in the correct positions there's little tabs to keep them in place, you can see right there, this holds it in there. Um, same thing on the other side, same thing on this side. So that's how that works. Then you have a shock in here. We believe this shock is still good, but um, I don't know, moving it around, maybe not. So it's one of these two shocks is wrong, causing it to dangle like that. And we're gonna replace one, maybe replace both, and get this thing fixed. But to take these off is very simple. Just take a little screwdriver, pop this little clip out a little bit, and then it'll come, come right out. So we got that out, get the other side, same thing, pop that. It's really that simple. That's one of the things I love about the Pro Slide is how easy they are to work on. So with that one off, we will simply just pop the new one on. Bam, we need to turn and hook into this one and we have our new one on there we still have the same problem we were having before so that's making me leading me to believe that is actually this shock that has gone bad so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop this off just like we did the last one and this one's a little newer and tighter so it's gonna be a little bit uh harder to get off but that's a good thing so I just need to get our little clip back in this little hole right there. And we will pop the other side off. Voila. So as you can see, my clip is not on there just right. So I just need to shimmy that a little bit and get that back in its spot. So bam, just pushed on the other side inside and went back in the spot. So. I'm going to attach the original spring back onto this side because it may not be the issue after all. And I'm leaning towards, it is this one. This should have a lot of tension on it right here. You have to be really careful, it'll snap back on it. But it is not doing that because it doesn't have any tension on it. But the thing here, to get, to get this shock off right here, what you're going to want to do is pull this pin right here. So this is going to be a 13. And we're going to take this pin out. Oh, 
You can certainly do this with like a cordless drill or something to save some time. I don't have one with me at the moment, but pop that out right there. And then it's just a matter of grab this guy. Over time, these will wear and you'll see uh, you know, obvious wear like right here and right here. So this one is just fine, but over time, talking several years, this piece may eventually need to be replaced. So now we can come back in here and we will grab one thing to note always uh, note which direction your shock is facing so we need to put this one on like that so I'll just leave that there for a reference and same thing with popping these bad boys off pop pop okay Obviously that spring is bad. So this is a new spring right here and it is about impossible to uh, push down. So that is why I undid this bolt. That's gonna make it so much easier to put this back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this side. Let's push it on, turn it, get that side on, voila. And now we fold it back like this. Everything is almost lined up. And we will stick our pin back in. Get it lined up on this side. Yep. See, it's got it's got all that tension I was talking back on it. So it's a little uh, little finagling to get this to go in. I need something to hit it with. There you go. Go ahead. Will you tap that in there for me? There was the other spring. Go ahead. You're good. Voila. Just give it a tap. We're through on the other side. At this point, we just got to line our bolt back up there. Stick our bolt back in. And we will tighten that down. And assuming this shock was still okay, uh, that should be all this pro slide needed to solve that dangling pro slide issue. So, see what I'm talking about now that it has that has that tension on it. That thing will snap back on your finger if you are not careful. But that is about it. It is super easy. The key is taking this out. If you try to get this shock back in position here without taking this out you're gonna freaking lose your mind <laughs> okay so it doesn't look like our lighting situation is the best but i did want to go over how to just get this on because i remember the first time i tried to do this i could not figure it out so it has this little lip right here on this metal piece right here so that is going to go and catch on the bottom of the bracket you installed on the mower so what i like to do is either get your knee or your arm down here like i have it slide this post in right on through there just like that and as you can see the pro slide is back where it should be so that was the problem so if your pro slide is dangling it is your shock inside here not this one although this one will go bad over time too and cause issues but we are back the pro slide is out of the way you can operate the mower fully functionally without uh worrying about banging your shins on that or anything like that and yeah that's how you do it